Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Now, what I want you to look at here is uh, this is the Lion 2 reactor core, and uh, we're looking at the outside of the Cantal heating wire and the quartz, which is being discolored here. But I don't know if you can see down there in the alumina, there seems to be around each heating wire uh, and a scalloped section and if I bring some more light in here this might become clearer if I can get the angle right uh, so that it goes down through the gap but essentially it would appear that around each heater wire the alumina has basically gone away if that's particularly clear there So I'm shining a light in from the side. But the interesting thing was, we all wondered what this was uh, here, this kind of bulb uh, on the bottom uh, of the tube, and the thinking it was like a mixture of al uh, alumina and so forth. But actually, this situation of it kind of eating it away is even more extreme, and I don't know if you can see, but it's actually quite smooth down the bottom there, and it's quite a distance and the heater wires are kind of like offset. You see that in there? The heater wires are like hanging there in free space and quite some distance below is a smooth surface. So it's almost like this uh, alu foamed alumina has melted and then it's gone down and made a smooth base underneath and the actual Cantal heater wires are floating there in mid space. It's quite curious. If I can get the lighting a bit better. I don't know. Can I? Can you see that? All the way down, you can see the, the Cantal heating wire. It's quite tough to handle this and get the light in and so forth. So. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the quartz is gone. Cantal heating wires are there still. But some distance away is this smooth surface. Now, what has caused that alumina to become smooth like that in there? What has caused that to happen? Get another look at this angle. Very tough. So, like I say, I don't know if we can get in here as well. Maybe we can get in here using my phone's torch. It's going to provide a. So you can see there the, the alumina has become smooth and moved away from the Cantal heating wire, almost as if it is heating it up. Uh, I'll try one more angle from over here. So back to where we were at the beginning. So I've, I've wanted to take this apart but I wanted to think about it more and look at it some more and I'm very glad I did because I probably wouldn't have noticed this otherwise. It would have been broken up Sometimes you just have to take a bit of time over things and think about them. So, it's not just this little triangle down here. It is that the uh, Cantal appears to have, where, the, where this is here, it's kind of like this bulby thing here. It's like it's kind of like melted it and it's slumped down. Let's see if I can get another angle on this with, with the light coming in from the top. Will that help? No, not really. It's definitely best with the light coming in at the back. There we go. So kind of like a smooth inside. So bearing in mind that the the uh, quartz 
the, the wire was sitting on the quartz. The quartz is basically completely gone in this area. And the alumina outside of that has also moved away and become a smooth surface. So eventually we'll want to crack this open and uh, have another look at it once it's cracked open. But at the moment, this gives you a fairly good idea. Something did that. What was it?